to other stories. Amid South Africa's lockdown, 69-year-old grocery seller Lucy Malimele, one of the country's millions of informal workers, says she is forced to break curfew in order to feed her family. Take a look. Great-grandmother Lucy Malimele says she has to break the law to survive. She's sold fruit and vegetables from a stall since 1983, one of millions who work in South Africa's informal sector. But amid a 21-day lockdown, the army and police have been coming to close down stalls at Soweto's Cliptown Market. As the sole earner in a family of eight grandchildren and great-grandchildren, the 69-year-old says she's had no choice but to keep breaking curfew, even though her pool of customers has dried up. There is no business, meaning the business is dead unless I break the law like I currently am. As I got some produce, which is not allowed, but I still went to get it. Being here is not even allowed. In an economy already suffering recession, power shortages and high unemployment, South Africa has not promised massive fiscal stimulus to cushion the blow like some other nations. It has brought in some measures for small businesses, but not offered any support to the informal sector, which statistics South Africa says accounts for 6 to 7 percent of GDP. The World Bank says out of all South Africans currently working, 25 to 30 percent operate in the informal economy. President Cyril Ramaphosa has said the government is urgently developing additional measures to provide relief for informal businesses. But he has not specified when measures would be announced. For workers like Mali Mele, that means waiting for the lockdown to end and hoping for a return to business as usual. The lands our mothers would